Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is Texas Latina Tactical, and today we are going to be reviewing the Shadow System CR920. Now this thing is itty bitty just like me. If you cannot tell, it has a tritium front sight with a blacked out rear in the back. And if you notice, it has the serrations in the front and the back right down here. Uh, the barrel is very small. It is 3.4 inches. The trigger on here is a little bit heavy. It is 4.5 to 5 pounds. So just keep that in mind. Now the grip right down here, to me, it is very aggressive. For how tiny this thing is, it is aggressive. Um, the main thing we always check out is if the mag release. I do think it is very solid, very easy. Now I don't know if you notice on right here, the copper on it, it is in the front and, or in the top and in the front. I like it because it's a little bit more of a cute design on there. So that's one thing I do like about it. But we are going to um, be loading up the magazines. One thing is it does have come with two magazines. One is 13 rounds, the other one is 10. So keep that in mind, but we're gonna get them loaded and get to shooting. So in case anybody is wondering out there, we are going to be using the Federal American Eagle and 115 grain for today for our video. Now, um, one thing is, is um, that I wish I had as a mag loader, but I do not have one sadly um, for this one. Now it does get a little bit hard for me to put the ammo in. Um, so just keep that in mind. It does become very difficult, but I've learned just hold it down push the ammo, use the bullet, push it in. That helps out for the girlies out there that need help with it, but I do find it. Now this one, I don't know why it's so much harder for me to load than this one. So one thing I do not like that is, I will. Oh, that didn't go back like I wanted to. Give us one moment, we're having some tactical difficulties. So one thing I do like is that when I go down, some of the other guns I've shot, I've had trouble, but this one's so easy, perfect to be able to Get it ready, let's go. Let me give my hand a break for a second because I feel like I'm missing because it is hurting so bad. My poor finger. Look at that. It's all red. It, is, it feels sore. Okay. already out wow okay uh, this one has 10 but i wish i had more so i could keep going but we're gonna go fill them up now one thing i will say i don't know if it's because loading these magazines or if it's just the trigger or what but my finger does hurt a bit i really do think it's the magazines just because of how hard it is to put the ammo in there but um other than that my hand is just because the grip is so aggressive and i have to hold it so tightly i'm not used to that per se but other than that overall i'm really am liking this gun so i'm excited to get to more shooting I hate my nose. Oh, we're out. I hit my nose a little bit. 
but let's go get more. Okay, so while Bianca is uh, taking, letting her hand have a break, I'm gonna shoot this thing a little bit and I'm gonna start right here where Bianca normally kind of does, right around 10 yards. Too easy. This is about 20 yards. Too easy. This is about 35. This is about 50. I don't know if I'll be able to hit it because there's a lot of glare. so final reviews overall i do really like this gun it is fun to shoot i will say only downside is i did get a blister from it um but it's mainly because of mags whenever we were uh, loading them i do wish the magazines did hold more but i do realize this is more of a soft defense carry gun so it's not going to hold as many as i would like um but overall we have shot over 500 rounds through this gun no malfunction at all, which is amazing because this gun is known to have malfunction, but for ours personally, we haven't had any problems with it. Um, mag release, beautiful. One love thing I always check, I've noticed, is how is the mag release? It was amazing. Pulling it back was super easy, no trouble at all with it. Um, I do love the trigger. Not too heavy, not too light, perfect in my opinion, um, but different from other guns I have shot in the past. But the grip is very, very aggressive. I've mentioned multiple times. I don't know if it was because I was squeezing the gun so hard or what exactly was going on, but all right here on the side of my hand is kind of numb and does hurt a bit. So hopefully that does go away. But like I said, I don't know if it is just because the grip is so aggressive um, or just because of how tight I was holding the gun. But let's go to the sights. The sights, I do absolutely love the sights on here. They were amazing. I do think it works well for this gun. So that is one other thing. But overall, fantastic. Do love this one. But thank y'all so much for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below and share the video with your friends and family. Also our cash app and our Instagram is gonna be listed down below. So don't forget to give us a follow on there. But we'll see y'all next week for another video. Bye.